Hi, this is Kate from Isilicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of the Australian cork hats. This is my little cork hat here. Now, normally these cork hats are green. I don't have any green bands that are these nice, thick, rounded silicon bands. So I'm actually going to be using brown to show you. Depending on the type of bands you're using, the different results you can get are quite apparent. This is using the thicker silicon rounded bands. This is using the normal silicon, uh, normal rubber bands from Rainbow Loom. As you can tell, it's a very different look and feel to the hat. So if you can get your hands on some of these, I got mine from Lucky Loom from Amazon. Great. If not, then uh, you'll have to use the normal rubber bands. It does work, they're just a little different to use. We're going to start by taking a single band, and I've got you quite close so that you can see exactly what I'm doing, I'm doing a figure eight on your hook like that. Okay, and then we're going to link in three little chains. Here's our first. Or second and our third like that. Now this little end cap here is very important. We're going to pop our hook through it again, grab another single band on the end of your hook and move that end cap over onto it, just the end cap, and reclaim the end. Now you have four loops here. We're going to take a single band and move those loops onto the band like that. That is our first little petal. We're going to do another band and another band, so two, and again we'll find that little end cap, you can see the one because it's the one that's twisted on itself. Put your hook through, take a single band, thread it through it, reclaim the end so you have your four loops on your hook, take a single band and pull those loops through and reclaim. That was our second one. So let's do that again. Another band and another band. Push your hook through that end cap which is now in the middle. Take a single band, pull it through, reclaim the end and let's take a single band and slide through all four of those loops and reclaim. So that was one, two, three, we're now on number four. So there's our first band, our second band, find that little end cap in the middle, there it is, poke your hook through, grab a single band, slide it through, reclaim the end, there's your four loops, single band, slide it through, and reclaim. So that was four. Now we're on five. So let's add one band, two bands, go through that center, grab a single band, pull it through and reclaim. There's our four loops. and pull it through and reclaim. We have one more to do for six, okay? So let's put a single band, a single band, find our center, poke your hook through, grab a single band, drag it back through. Now make sure you're just dragging it through the center part reclaim, single band 
and drag it through those four loops and reclaim. Now, if you spread this out, as you can see, you've got this little layer of teardrops along the edge here. Okay, what we're going to do, if you have a look, I'm trying to make it so that you can see, sort of make it so that it's all flattened out nice. You can see you've got these two here. Put your hook through a single band and this is how we tie these together. Drag it through those four loops and reclaim. So this is our beginning, okay? This spot is our beginning. What we're going to do, as you can see, here's our little teardrops. We're going to take our hook and we're going to go through the first, see if you look, I'm trying to show you here, these two top pieces of the loop. You don't want the underneath, you just want these two top pieces. Okay, so you're going to go in and grab those two bands and then come out like that. Okay, so come out like that grab a single band and we're going to pull it through those four loops so those two oops that wasn't very good of me to show you was it do that again through these two out these two take your single if you need to pull it through that first bit first and then through those that's fine all right then we're going to do the same here through those two and out through these two Take a single and pull it through and reclaim in through these two, out through these two. Take a single, pull it through all of them and reclaim. And we're going to do this all the way around. Reclaim in this way, out this way, and reclaim in this way, out this way, pull through, reclaim. In this way, out this way, and reclaim. Okay. Can you see what we're doing? This is where we're going to finish because this is where we started. And if you are in doubt about that, you can use a, a little clip. But basically, this is where we started at here. So let's find our next one. That's part of that one here. So in there and out there. Pull it through and reclaim. In through here, out through here. and reclaim in here out here and you're going to keep doing this until we have the base of the hat at the desired height And at the moment there is no height, so It starts to curve in on itself a little bit because it's um, it's growing. So as you can see, they're here now, 
in here and out those two. Pull through in these two and out those two. Stretch it out if you need to and pull through. If you need to stretch it out a bit you should be able to see how we've got this happening here. So whereas we just had the top part that looked like that, now we have this part that's starting to grow in through here, out through here, and move it through. Just those two top, and then the next two top next to it. Pull through and reclaim. I usually go around about three times to have it at the desired height. Through those two, out these two. Through these two, out these two. These two and these two. As I said, if you're in doubt, stretch it out. So we've gone through about twice in these two, out through these two. in through these two, out through these two. In through these two, out through these two. If you were doing a top hat, you'd make this much taller. you just keep going round and round. In through these two, out through these two here let's see if I can show you it looks like we've got three so one two three here in through these two out through these two pull them through two up through these two Let's have a look at how we're doing. If we turn it inside out, you get an idea. See how it's grown? We needed just a couple more, I believe. Turn it back the other way. In through these two, out through these. So one. Two, and I think we're probably even. Let's see, let's turn it inside out. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That to me looks about even. 
as I said, you can stretch these out after the fact. Now, when you get to this stage, and I've turned it inside out now, what I'm going to do, I want to slide on another one and another two. Okay, and now, as you can see, here's my edges here. I'm going to go through the first one, back through the second, bring a single one through with me, reclaim the end, and then use a single one to grab all of them and pop back on my hook. Okay, and then we're going to do that again. So we're going to put one, and two and find the next one you go in through here out through here single band slide it through reclaim the end single band slide it through all four loops okay get a few more bands ready we need two here's our first one and our second one through the first two out the second grab a band drag it through reclaim the end so you have all four loops on your hook and drag a single band through see how we're forming the brim okay so one and two go in and out drag the band reclaim one and two Go in and out, drag it through, and pull all four loops through. One, two, oops, go in through those two out through those two single band through all one and two in and out Slide through all four. One. Oops, let's untangle that. Two. Go in and out. Drag a band through. all the way. Another two. One. Two. Go in and out. Drag your band. And all the way through. I'm going to do two more. One and two. Going in here, out here. Grab a band, reclaim, drag through. 
is going to be our last one. So we're going to add two first. One and two. Go in here, out here. Grab a band, drag it through. And we are going to drag our single band through those four. Now this is where we're going to tie off. So find your spot and I think we need one more band here to make it even. I'm going to go through those two top, the single band, grab it one over the other and tie off like so. Now that is the brim of your hat. Okay, now it's rather big and floppy, but that's how the cork hats are supposed to be. Okay, and if you flipped it the other side, you've got a different look to it completely, really. So do it this way. Now, to do the corks, there's the hat. To do the corks, I'm using pearl beads, as I mentioned. Take a single band, wrap it on your fingers like this. Pop your pearl bead onto your hook or your floss or whatever, and you're going to slide that on through there like that and reclaim the end. That is tight, okay? Now I'm going to use a black band and I'm going to slide these on to my black band like that, and I'm going to tie. A slip knot. No, I'm going to just fire that at my t my TV screen. <laughs> Let's do another one. <laughs> Brown band, figure eight on my fingers, cut the circulation off. Put my pearl bead on my hook or my metal threader or my floss. Thread that on, and reclaim the end. Made a good slingshot. <laughs> slide, goodness gracious, slide your black band on. And we're going to tie a loop like that. Okay, so that it's in the middle. And we're going to use about four of these. Wow. Or you're going to break your band. So, figure eight. Slide on, black band, slide through, make sure it's kind of in the middle, and we do a slip knot like that. So that's two. Okay, come on, untwist. I hate them when they twist up. There we go. Silicon bands don't stretch very far, as we're finding. Okay, there we go. Slide on. Hey, come here, you. Reclaim on both sides. There we go. Grab my black band. Ooh. Slide on. Do a quick slip knot. There's number three. Let's do number four. I have to find another bead, seeing as I just catapulted mine across the side of the office. <laughs> now I can use. No, I won't use that. That's my tie off.
So there we have our four little corks. Now we're going to find spots on the hat. This tie off band basically all you need to do is grab it and hide it under some bands like that. Now I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I have it there and I'm going to go through these two and pull my first cork on a band through like that. Slip knot, put one side over the other and tie it like that. I'm going to go across to the other side and I'll do the same. The corks on the hats are actually to keep the flies away. So you don't have to keep using your hands and you can still drink your beer. <laughs> so there's another one. I'm going to put one at the front here. And one opposite that. So there's our little cork. Now you can do as many of those as you want around the hat. The other thing they always have is um, a tie under the chin. So what I have done is I'm going to take my hook and go under one of those drag a band back and tie it in a slip knot like so on the other side, exactly the other side I'm going to do the same thing like that and then grab both of those on your hook get a single band again and you want to go through both of them make sure it's even so sort of make it taut pinch it do your end now we're going to just snip that to look like it's just been tied and there you have the chin strap now that one's come undone let's tie that tighter that's the end that's the downside of having silicon bands is they don't tighten very nicely when you do slip knots. So there we go. There is our Australian cork hat.